Hey there, how you doing? Good to see ya. Yeah, right on. Okay, I was just, uh, I didn't want to give you the normal intro, you know, whatever, but welcome to the show, everybody. I appreciate you being here. I uh, hope you're having a good week so far. It's certainly been a busy past uh, week, a uh, bit before I get into some of the things that were happening. Uh, if you'd please take the time to share the video with five new people on your uh, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, I haven't asked you in a while, but it's because of all of you sharing and telling people about the show that we keep uh, growing every week here. So thank you all for that very much. Uh, the busy weekend, yeah, I was out at uh, Norm's Bar and Grill this past Saturday for the Pandas Pans fundraiser, which you've heard me talking about. I was happy to be the MC for the evening, but uh, over 200 people showed up at Norm's Bar and Grill, and that was just a fabulous turnout. They raised over $4,000. Uh, several people were there, including a newly elected councilman. Brian White stopped by. Thank you, Brian, for your support there. And Chris Westfall, the amazing magician, was there all through the evening, astounding everyone. There was not a boring moment when Chris was around. So, Chris, thank you for being there. And the entertainment for the evening, Jamie Lee and Craig Moore doing a fabulous job with the music. So, congratulations to the organizers and everyone involved. And we'll keep you updated uh, as more happens with this uh, rare disease, Pandas Pants. And uh, there's a website up on the screen you can check out to find out more information about that. All right, well, Chris Isaac was here on the show, not the musician, no, the weightlifter. Chris Isaac was here on the show a couple of weeks ago. He's now down in Florida for the World Power Lifting Championships, and I heard from Chris uh, just recently, so we want to give a shout out to him. Chris, we wish you all the best and looking to see the results that you bring back to Sarnia. Remembrance Day, a very great turnout for this past Remembrance Day. Over a thousand people at least were down there. Uh, it was beautiful weather and a great ceremony. So uh, we hope you took the time at somewhere in your life, wherever you were, to take the time to remember. All right, moving on now to the entertainment scene. And the entertainment scene, yes, it's just about Christmas time. We're starting to get geared for this. But you are going to love this part of Christmas. It's called A Rock and Roll Christmas. And director and producer David Chalk joins me here on the show. Several popular and well-known local musicians here in Sarnia coming together to put on this show. And I'm happy to say myself and Sarah Woodley from Blackburn Radio and the Fox FM will be your hosts for the evening. And here to talk about it and a very exciting director producer i must say david chalk to talk about rock and roll christmas coming to the imperial theater let's go now to the entertainment scene jingle bell jingle bell jingle bell rock jingle bell swing and jingle bell ring snowing and blowing up the show well, on the entertainment scene this week for the show very excited a very special event coming to the imperial theater in december several local musicians coming together for a special performance and the director and producer to talk to us about this event david chalk thanks for being here david oh my pleasure dave thanks you've got uh lots going on and several musicians <laughs> yeah. involved uh just let's put it out there tell us what's happening yeah several meaning probably more than a dozen um <laughs> what's happened is it's an idea that i've had for a long time and that's to um, put together Christmas music which believe it or not is some of my favorite music and rock and roll which is of course some of my favorite music right. so I basically had this idea a while back I threw it out there with a bunch of my favorite music local musicians from this area some extremely talented people as you well know yeah. and uh, we came up with this idea I came up with this idea of having a rock and roll Christmas concert and then we sort of hashed it out and started figuring out where are we going to hold it, what are we going to do with it, and the Imperial Theatre turns out to be the best venue for it. Yes, it's a great venue in there, um, yeah. sound-wise and seating-wise, but you you know, you had to really kind of lay this out in a, a kind of a blueprint, uh, rock yeah. and roll Christmas, I mean, that can go many different directions. What Kind of lay out the plot, if you will, for what's going to happen. Well, the plot is basically uh, a rock and roll music concert. So we've chosen uh, music based on the, well, based a lot around the singers and our love for music. The singers uh, are all local musicians from all the local bands, all your favorites, really. And we chose the music based on their vocal right. talents, right. which means that uh, after we got going and after we started sitting down and playing through some of this music, we realized how talented they really were. Yeah. And we could 
choose anything. So we would take songs, for example, White Christmas, we would do a very heavy rock version of it. Right. Um, we're taking songs like Oh Holy Night and doing it very pretty, very majestic with strings and orchestration, but also with the rock band in the background. Very nice. So it's a very good mix of the traditional music with the rock and roll stylings. Uh, we've going we're covering 50s, 60s, uh, we're covering, dare I say, Beatles-like music, <laughs> we're covering music that uh, encompasses the metal genre and heavy metal and those types of things. Very good. So yeah, it's actually very exciting, and it's going to be a show to see. Yeah. It's going to be the one, if you miss it, you're going to be sorry you missed it because everyone's going to be telling you about it. Well, it sounds very exciting. You can certainly hear the excitement in your voice. I'm very passionate about this one. Absolutely. <laughs> now, tickets. we got to get tickets. Is there a yeah. website? Uh, give us some of the There's information. a number of different places to get them, of course. Uh, just go to the imperialtheater.net website, uh, phone 344-SHOW, or go just right down to the Imperial box office downtown and buy them right there. And when's it happening? December 20th. It's, gonna it's be happening, happening right? December 20th at 8 p.m. Tickets are only $25. Um, the production value is going to be spectacular. The people at the theater, Brian Austin, Dan Tedball, are fabulous to work with. They're absolutely ma uh, magnificent sound system, awesome lighting system. Hold on to Dave Chalk. He's excited. Yes. Yeah, I'm so happy about this one. <laughs> That's awesome. Dave, thank you so much for your time being no here problem. on the show. We're going to go back to the studio and we're going to talk more about a rock and roll Christmas coming to the Imperial Theater on December 20th. <laughs> That's awesome. That's the jingle bell. That's the jingle bell. Chuck, very excited about the up and coming rock and roll Christmas coming December 20th to the Imperial Theater. Uh, and I understand why he's excited. Uh, there's it's, This is going to be an awesome show. Uh, I'm very privileged to have David ask me to be uh, one of the MCs for the evening, along with Sarah Woodley from uh, Blackburn Radio, the Fox FM. Going to be amazing. Tickets on sale now. Go to imperialtheater.net for more information or call 519 344 show. Thank you, David Chalk, for being here. And we're looking forward to the performance on December the 20th. All right, well now let's go out into the community. Uh, community and some more music for you. It's called the Live Music Cafe and it happens the second Friday of every month. And uh, the Sisters of Soul join us to talk about this Live Music Cafe that's been going on for quite some time. Now, I want you to watch closely in this interview. Uh, George Weber, uh, who's a part of the Sisters, yes, he's a sister, is in there. And George is a funny guy, and I mean funny in a, in a nice way. Uh, but we had a lot of fun doing this interview. It's kind of like find Waldo. See if you can find George. Let's go into the community. Well, this week out in the community, community and music combined together, and we're back here once again. We were back here a little while back, a couple of years ago. It's the Live Music Cafe, and uh, Sisters of Souls joining us here, and Fran Schweitzer joining us. Hello, Fran. Hello, Dave. Thank you for having me back here again. Uh, oh, hey. Let's go around and, and introduce everybody real quick. Good idea. This is Susan Weber. <laughs> and the George is in the back. Yes, and the two Mr. Sisters in the back, George and George. Right. George Ayers and George Weber. Perfect. And uh, yes, these two are husband and wife. And Jamie, <laughs> Jamie Keelan is unable to make it oh, here tonight. Oh, okay, great. I just yeah. saw Jamie recently. Wow. The Live yeah. Music Cafe been going on, you said, for about four years. Four years already. What is the Live Music Cafe? What's it all about? What it is is... Uh, it's something that we kind of put together because we wanted to uh, give the public something, a place where they could go and uh, just chill out, listen to some live music and not have to pay a lot of money. Right, sure. Not have to stay out really late if they yep. don't want to. We kind of look at it as an appetizer sure. for those that want to go out later. Sure. So it's from 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. every second Friday, every second Friday. Okay. of the each month. Okay. Uh, we thought, well, second Fridays is easy to remember. Absolutely. Right? So uh, what we wanted to do was just to provide some snacks, uh, live music. Uh, we have uh, lots of different special guests that come in right. and perform. And we also, we kind of back some of them up if that's what they would like. Sure. And um, now, is this is uh, sorry to interrupt? Is this family oriented? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, right. if you want to bring your children, 
that's great. Uh, you just got to make sure they're not running all over well, the place, look right? After yeah, them, right? yeah, you have to look after that's them. That's great. Um, but they are, uh, they could go downstairs and play for a little bit as long as uh, we make sure there's somebody there kind of right. checking up on them. Okay. We have had that and we've had, you know, great success with sure. that. Um, uh, we don't really actually have a lot of children coming in. We've yeah. had, you know, a few here and there. Okay. But uh, for the most part, uh, for all ages, family friendly, um, just uh, now something. Now, what's the, what's the purpose behind Live Music Cafe? Because it's really a different venue than, say, like you said, going out late or, or to the bar scene, whatever. This is more of a casual. But what, what's the message behind all of the Live Music Cafe? The message is to uh, keep music alive. Right. Um, to have uh, live uh, breathing musicians sure. and singers coming in and, yeah. uh, and uh, performing and, and also to allow some of the new up-and-coming artists right. to give them a, a stage an to opportunity. perform. An opportunity to perform. And we do have a couple of special guests oh, great. coming up this Friday night. Can you let that out of the bag for us? Or is that well, a surprise? It's a surprise, actually. And, <laughs> okay. and they're very good singers and performers. And they're going to perform a couple of originals also. So Perfect. And also the Sisters of Soul will be performing a couple of originals ah, okay. very soon. Maybe maybe January, February. Okay. So, so that's coming up this Friday. This Friday. And what time does it start? 7.30. Okay. And it could go uh, it's usually generally about 9.30. So for those that would like to go out later, they can uh, go out later on. Perfect. The night has just begun, right, for some people. And for some people, they can just go home and just rest for the rest of the sure. evening. Yeah. All or right. the odd time, we do go a little later. So. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Depends on the crowd and, and the feeling in the room. Exactly. Great. Fran, exactly. thank you so much for your time here. Thank you. Sue and the Georges. Thank you so much for Thanks being here on the show. Uh, I'm going to try to get down here this Friday for sure and uh, enjoy some of the live music that's going to be happening down here. We're going to go back to the studio now and talk more about the live music cafe happening this Friday here at the Foursquare Church, right? Yes, Foursquare Church, 207 Telford Street. Perfect. We'll see you Friday. Let's go back to the studio and talk some more. Uh, George, thank you so much for showing up in there. Yeah. We had a lot of fun talking to the Sisters of Soul and their live music cafe been going on for several years. It is the second Friday of every month. And uh, we're going to make sure that uh, we keep you updated as to... they got some special guests. They wouldn't even tell me. I still don't know. So get down there. Check out the live music cafe. And when you do go there... Uh, George will be there waiting for you. He's not gonna. He'll he'll be there. He won't be hiding. He will be there playing the, playing the organ. Uh, Sisters of Soul and Live Music Cafe. Once again, thanks for your time, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time here in the show. All right. Well, one of my favorite guys, Mark Russell, here every week. He's always got something new to share, and even if it's something you think you know, he tells you more about it. Uh, here we go. Let's go to apps with Mark Russell. Thanks, Dave. If you like movies, have I got a treat for you? This week we look at Cineplex Mobile on Apps with Mark Russell. <laughs> Cineplex Mobile has a lot of useful features. Using your phone or tablet you can find theaters and buy tickets, manage a scene points account, and stay entertained between films. You can search by theater, movie, or actor and find photos, videos, and news. The app will use your location to find nearby theaters whether you're at home or traveling. Or, if you're planning a trip, you could find the theaters near to your destination. Once you've selected a theater, you're shown all the show times, up to a week in advance. From here, you can even buy tickets using credit, debit, or PayPal. When you get to the theater, the app will show the barcode for your scenes account, earning you points towards movies and merchandise, and giving you a 10% discount on concessions. It will also show your scene points balance. In addition to show times, you can also see the film synopsis, or watch trailers, behind the scenes videos, or interviews. While you're waiting for the movie to start, you can check out the latest entertainment news or read the latest issues of the Cineplex magazine. Cineplex Mobile is available for free on Android, iOS, and Blackberry. This has been Apps with Mark Russell. My friend, Mark Russell, thank you so much for being here. Uh, happened to run into Mark Russell as well. He was at the Pandas fundraiser. Uh, we seem to be hanging out in the same places. So, well, not all the same places, because, you know. Uh, anyway, uh, great to see you, Mark Russell. I have a lot of fun this week. I guess I have some funner times than other weeks, I guess. But uh, 
I'm having a fun time this uh, week. If you want to find out more about Mark Russell or you want to give him a suggestion, send him an email to info at markrusselsarnia.com. As always, Mark, thank you, and I look forward to seeing you next week if I don't run into you somewhere before because we seem to be doing that lately. All right, it's local time, so you know it's time to uh, t turn up the speakers. and uh, Let's go to the local entertainment guy. Here we go. <laughs> All right, well, there you have your entertainment guide here on the show, and lots happening there. Don't forget, you want your event uh, to be here on the show, just send it to me to the show at davidbrose.ws. Uh, some really fun shows I'm looking forward to coming up this Saturday. I'll be out at the Corona Legion for Hypnotist Maxwell, presented by The Magically Hip. Uh, check him out online at themagicallyhip.com. Going to be uh, a lot of fun. Comedy Hypnotist. Tickets only $20. Uh, there's a phone number on the screen. You can get tickets for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. 19 plus for sure. But uh, it's definitely going to be fun for the adults that night. Looking forward to that. Also, Sloan coming to town November the 21st. Two chances for you to win tickets to this. Go to k106fm.com. They're giving away tickets to Sloan. And next week... Uh, check the Facebook page starting Monday. Don't wait for the show. I'll be giving away a pair of tickets as well. Um, if you want some heads up on some of these things, go to my website and uh, sign up for the free newsletter for a chance to win tickets and you get prizes and all that kind of stuff. Free newsletter. Uh, you know how those things work. Uh, also very excited to let you know that the show is now a part of the Video Show Network along with Indie Music Playlist, another show uh, that we're starting. Uh, it's in beta launch right now, but we're strictly going to be showing off uh, independent music videos. So if you are an independent artist and want your video to be seen on Indie Music Playlist, send me an email about that as well. Indie Music Playlist, uh, like I said, in beta launch, but we've got some more exciting things coming up for that as well. And an update on Sarnia tonight. It still will be happening. We're looking about February want to make sure everything's in place and doing right. It will be a live streamed event and we will be looking for you to be in the audience. And we're going to have some special guests. Uh, that's what I can tell you right now. It's tease, 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 right? I like Marianne. Sorry, but I'm teasing you. Uh, but uh, Marianne down at Cheeky Monkey, we're due for our uh, weekly chat. So looking forward to that. The website to go and see all of this is tvsn.ca or the video show network.com. So check those out for sure. And if you would please go to the Indie Music Playlist uh, uh, Facebook page along with the Video Show Network Facebook page and like and share. And all, you know how it all works. Anyway, um, yeah, I think that's it for me. Uh, just making sure. Yep, that's all the time I got for you this week. Have a great week and an even better weekend. And I will see you next time right here on the show. Bye bye for now. Bartley Cloudy, PCJ News. PCJs is sponsored by Coke, but not really. I'm still waiting for the check. Moving on. <laughs> I guess we're not moving on. It's, it's hard to get over. I just want to be a big name.